it's too high guys it's too high no even if i'm tall this is too high you can never ever 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 have too many crop tops not just crop tops it's too small for me it's really really tight you look like a spice girl from the 1990s What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, my name is Naniga Koe and welcome to my channel. So basically, I went thrifting again. So guys, I've thrown out all my New Year's resolutions. They no longer matter. They've, they, they, they've disappeared. They've evaporated. Yes. So I have promised myself that I won't be thrifting no more. I won't be buying clothes no more generally, not just... Yeah, but guys, it's the best content for youtube and uh, yeah i went thrifting and definitely i enjoyed it immensely and not only that i got some amazing finds if you don't know follow me already i've ever thrifted a mac jacobs t-shirt i've thrifted um what's the name of this designer well i can't remember but i have thrifted a lot of nice pretty wonderful things so let's just get into the video and don't forget to like if you actually like this video. And as usual, I'm just going to talk about the stuff, let you see the stuff, and then I'm going to try it on for you. So make sure you watch the end because it's amazing stuff, guys. Baby. It's, it's really nice stuff. So yeah, as usual, your girl got amazing taste, but do I say? Yeah. <laughs> Aside from that, let's just get into the video and okay, uh, I yeah, I hope you enjoy it. A yellow yellow hat a yellow bucket hat yeah so basically i got this hat and yeah i just saw it and i got it honestly i cannot remember the prices of this cloth not gonna lie i cannot remember because i've had this paper bag like for one week already and i have no clue and you, as you know thrift stores you can't actually take a receipt so you cannot check so i just know that this hat was affordable that's all also, somebody told me, a little birdie told me that I should not cheapen the clothes. So, I won't be mentioning prices. Yeah, but anyway, this hat, I just thought it's a pretty, pretty hat. Okay, right now, I have a wig and this hat appears to be too small for a wig. So, it's just a cute hat. And so, yeah, next, <laughs> drum roll, please. I got this houndstooth sweater. I know, I know, I know you guys are going to say in your heart, you'll be like, oh my god, Houndstooth is so updated. Well, guess what? Houndstooth is a classic print. It can never go out of date. So I got this Houndstooth sweater. It's a Houndstooth sweater and it is brown. And as you know, brown is really in. So it's brown and white. It's not black and white. I know the color comes off as black and white, but it's actually brown and white. Yeah. Okay, so, so I got this. So basically, this is the hounds to um, top. It's actually a sweater top. I like it. Yes. And I've just paired it with another print. Yes. Because according to fashion, the crazier you look, the more fashionable you are. So this why not just how this top looks? And I like it. As you can see, it even looks better like without that lighting, that extreme lighting. It looks really, really good. And I like it. It's a really pretty top. simple top. Very simple, just uh, basic. And it's also brown in color. And it's long sleeve. So it's just a basic long sleeve t-shirt. Kind of round neck, scoop neck thingy. Yeah, so it looks like this, basically. Nothing much to see, but you gotta see how I'm gonna style it. Because... I can understand why it was in the mtumba because it is actually quite uncomfortable the sleeves the material is really really soft like really really soft but the sleeves are just tight like okay they can move but when you're trying to put it on there's some friction for some weird reason i don't know why and it's not really like static it's just friction so it looks like this i like it it's comfortable but putting it on the, the sleeves feel tight. Yeah, kind of. So, it's a really, really nice one. I like it. It's flattering. And it's just simple. It's a simple top. Yeah, the light has gone off. And as you can see, it's brown. It's pretty. Like. It's actually a sweater dress. Oh, my chain is hanging loose. The belly. 
but anyway it's actually a sweater dress and it's v-neck and it just looks like the pink sweater dress that i had in the previous haul if you haven't watched that previous haul go check it out it was scandalous it was scandalous especially for kenyan standards it was scandalous but anyway this is also kind of scandalous but not as scandalous as the pink one so it's just a sweater dress it's v-neck here i know these are threads like this kind of fabric is the kind that actually like attaches a lot of stuff like you can find fluff on it you can find cotton wool you can find everything that you can possibly find on this kind of material because it attracts that and it's ribbed as you can see it's a really nice ribbed fabric it's just v-neck it has like this kind of sleeves i've forgotten the name of this kind of sleeve yeah but it's really pretty so you're gonna see the black dress and it just has oh yes they're called batwin sleeves yes this batwin sleeves and i like it it's not as slatty as the pink one from the previous haul and you can just do some of it and show me it's not that bad yeah but yeah but honestly in kenya ah, ah, yeah but it's a sweater dress so i really really like it it's nice it's flattering and yeah i like it yeah, I've just worn it with these platforms. Yeah, these are platforms. As tall as I am, I can wear platform sneakers. So, yeah, so it's really, really nice. I like it. I like it, guys. I like this one. I like this one. I wish I had somewhere to go with it. It's really, really beautiful. Really nice. So, yeah, this is a win. This is a win. Like this a one was 30 Kenya shillings yeah and i just love like the combination of like floral and checked print so i just got it and it's just a simple top kind of long yeah so i made sure to get that one because i like florals and checked and separately but when combined it's like ah! yeah so i love this kind of thing so here is that top as you can see it looks absolutely amazing like the print is just pretty like i like mink prints baby anything colorful count me in and it's just shaped like this it has a shape but of course if you're the kind of person to like do rubber band ties and all that you can definitely do on this one because it's really easy to do the fabric is really soft it's just that kind of beachy fabric so you can just tie it and create a crop top of course you can tie it at the front you can tie it at the back i've just done some shorty work because as i said i'm really tired and it's at night and i have to sleep so yeah but this is basically the top it just looks like that nothing much nothing fancy yeah so i also this got a plain ribbed white thing crop top i guess it's just ripped it's white you can never have a lot of vests because i i'm the kind of person when i'm going to work i wear like two vests literally i'm not lying like two vests because it's really really cold so i can never ever have enough of vests so that is just a crop top that is basically ribbed this particular yeah. one looks like this to be honest it's too small for me because it's in a size extra small i normally fit an extra small for many many companies like almost all companies by the way the mtumba me i normally don't fit because i just look at the tags and see what size they are so it's actually an extra small but it's too small for me because i don't know maybe this company makes small stuff so it's really really tight and it makes me look like a spice girl from the 1990s yeah so it is just too tight honestly like just look at it it's actually busting so even the ribbed part is like really really tight like the entire rib has opened so it's just making me look like a spice girl honestly so i don't like it but it's, it will definitely keep me warm and it's also not that comfortable because it's tight so it's like cutting into my armpits here got this sweater top yeah it's a sweater top it just has like brown this is brown like a really really light brown and the sleeve also looks like this and it's ribbed as you can see and it's just nice it's just a top so you're gonna see it when i try it on because i cannot show you well 
when it is like that so and guys forgive me if i look a bit oh it's like 10 or like midnight basically and i'm doing this so tough but we're so gonna hack it top, but my... yeah this is how it looks so pretty so cute and it goes really well with this cut so i like it and guess what guys i found something it was so weird and so coincidental i don't know how this happened but this top you see this top here and i'm even going to insert a pic i wanted to buy it on aliexpress it was like 200 kenya shillings or something of the sort and guess what i went to the mtumba and i found it i was so happy i literally wanted to buy this on aliexpress because it was like different colors and as I've said, I'll just basically insert a picture somewhere of I actually found it on AliExpress at first. And then when I went to the Mtumba, talk about the law of attraction. I found it at a throwaway price. And it is just a top, a mesh top with flowers, like daisies and stuff. And I think it's really pretty and really cute. You just wear a black vest underneath and you're good to go. So your girl can thrift so and as you can see it's a really cute top it's so pretty i like it yeah it's so pretty just look at it you look put together even without any effort practically you look like you made effort when actually you didn't even make any effort at all yeah so <laughs> it's a really nice one i think i'll honestly go back to aliexpress and look for the other colors because this is a pretty pretty top I like it. Just tell me in the comment section what you think about this specific top because if you've reached this point in the video, just tell me what you think about this top because I really like it. Tell me whether you feel it's cheap, it's too much, it's what, but me, I really, really like it. Like the flowers and just the fact that it's so versatile and it makes you look put together even when you're not, I like it. So this is that top. It's just a long top, but I've just tucked it in. Okay, so the same seller who actually sold for me that uh, daisy, is it, are those daisies? I don't know, floral print, black mesh thing. Got, I also found this tie dye top and I love it. Oh my God, you know that you guys, that tie and dye is in. And not only is it in, but I love this one. Like, just look at it. I don't know whether it's tie and dye, this print, or it's marble. It looks like marble, kind of like tie-dye, but the sleeves are just brown. So this is dark brown. And you know that we are currently enjoying our dark browns. And uh, yeah, it's a really cute top. Just looks like that. Oh yeah, it has little ties. I'd even forgotten. It has like rouging on the side. So it has ties on the side, as you can see. So it's just a pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty this is top. basically that top as you can see the print is really really nice i like it and also this brown this is actually brown yeah it's brown basically yeah and it's so cute it has ties on the side so the top has see. ties on the sides and you can make it as long but the ties don't go far they just reach like somewhere here so it can't go any further than this unless you tie it up or something the way people are tying it up. But to me, it's just fine because, hey, why not have a good, decent, long top? So it's just a pretty, pretty top. It just comes like this. It's like shaped. And the back just looks like that. So I really like it. And it appears to be new. It's like nobody had ever worn it, by the way. It appears mm -hmm. similar to like the black and brown top that I just showed you. And it just looks like this. It's just a brown mesh nudish thingy that is weaved. It's a sweater thingy that is weaved and it just has long sleeves. And I thought it would really be good, especially for me when I'm going to work or something of the sort. I just wear something warm and a skirt. Like I don't need to like wear a jacket or something of the sort because it's already fitted and it's warm. So thought that would be a good addition to my so closet. So this is basically how it looks. And I think it's just decent and it's nice and yeah, fits me really well. Even the sleeves are really long. As I always say, in case you're seeing a bump here, this is just the chain. Yeah, the, the fake locket chain. So 
Yeah, this is the top. And I like the color. It's actually a brown color. I don't know whether you guys can see. It's brown. Now, and if you've been green. following me all this time, you know that a haul is not complete without me having something animal print. Like, it's not complete. You can hate it. You can hate me for it. You can hate to love it, but I'll still do it. So <laughs> I always get, I'm an African for heaven's sake. If I don't wear a leopard or zebra, who is going to wear a leopard or zebra? Cheap as you may think it is, it is our basic. So I got myself a skirt. Yes, this is a skirt and it's actually a long one. And to add salt to injury, or can I say sugar to like sweetness, it had zebra print at the bottom yes look at that look at that so it has zebra print at this part and then more zebra print here and then like polka dots going down and then like a solid block color and it has slits on both sides yes and it is you'll just see when i put it on because this thing is really really beautiful it's a skirt and it's it's pleated and it has like side slits what more can you want yeah, so let's just get it. Okay, so the skirt basically looks like this. As you can see, it has slits. It has a slit. And it's so nice. And it's so decent. And it's so pretty. And I like it. Yeah, as you can see, it goes really well with this top. And yeah, that's just how it looks. It has two slits. And that's it. Yeah. Yeah, but I really, really like it. I like this one. I like this skirt. The material is fantastic and it fits me perfectly. Like if I add even just a little bit of weight, it's not going to fit me. Imagine. But it's really, really nice. As you can see, it looks really quality, really pretty, really fun. And I'm not thrifting yeah. this, but I guess it was that cheap in order for me to thrift it. Cause I... So it's a bodysuit and it has... um crisscross back like that a really low crisscross back and it's just it has lace up here as you can see that's lace and it's just purple i don't know whether the camera is catching it there's so much lighting i don't know so much exposure but it's purple yeah so it looks like that and i think it's really really pretty so i'll try that on okay i've moved really really far away for this one because i don't have a bra because it's like a long uh, back the back is really really long you cannot wear a bra you just have to wear like those weird things people wear but it just looks like this and i've just prepared it with this cape just for the sake because why not i bought these capes from jumia and they are so nice like they are so hard and they're so cool yeah so the back looks like this that is the issue with this back you cannot wear and yeah i think it's a cool one it's a pretty one though i honestly feel like it was for somebody bigger but the size is small so i guess the person who wore it like panned it so much but it's fine i think it's cool I may have bought too many clothes because I think I may get really, really tired today. Really, really tired. So basically, this is just a top. Looks like this at the front. Oh, God. I also saw this one on AliExpress. You won't even believe it. It's like AliExpress has eyes. Like, it knows what I want. I don't know. I can't even understand. Honestly, the law of attraction is real, guys, because this top, I'll even insert a picture right here. I don't know whether it's a top or a body shaper, but to me, it's a top because it looks like a top. And yes, the material looks like a body shaper, but the design definitely looks like a top. So it has like, there's a way you can wear it at the front and also at the back. And I'm just going to show you how. So stay tuned. So this is the top I was saying, like... Just look at it. It's so pretty. Like, that's why I actually wanted to buy it from AliExpress. And then I saw it in the Mutumba. And to me, it's just a duplicate of what I saw on AliExpress. It's probably the same one. Yeah, but you can actually wear it like this. It's just supposed to show some side boob. But I don't have side boob. And yeah, so I've just paired it with black leggings. So it sort of looks like a jumpsuit. But it's not a jumpsuit. It's a top. It's not a jumpsuit. 
but it does look like a jumpsuit and the back or basically the other front just looks like this so i can also wear it like the opposite direction direction i've just changed the direction of the top yeah it's still supposed to show some don't mind the lumps and the bumps it's a really really tight top that's why i confused it with a body shaper to me it's like a top come body shaper because honestly why all the designs if it's just for body shaping yeah so the back now becomes like this so it's a really pretty like nice I top and i love this it so black crop top with like shiny things at the bottoms like rhinestones at the bottoms the material is like sweater material so very comfortable very stretchy as i say you can never have enough spaghetti thingies or spaghetti vests yeah so i got it so i hope you're almost through because i am so tired will i be able to try on all these clothes <laughs> but i will for you guys i will don't forget to subscribe for me for you guys i'll try them on just don't forget to subscribe for me yeah this is the rhinestone top and i have to say it is really really flattering it is and it's shiny as you can see compared to the like white top that actually looks really really retro and really 1990s this one has like a scoop neck so it looks a bit modern slightly although the length actually looks like a 1990s length but it's really pretty or early 2000s basically and i like the rhinestones and it's just a nice one yeah so this is actually how it looks do people still wear leggings as pants i don't know i've never worn leggings as pants guys as i said in a previous video i i'm not a fan of the leggings as pants look because I always feel like I'll just slide out of my leggings any minute, any second. So it looks like this. And I like shine. I, I feel so good in this one. This one is, is a winner, winner chicken dinner for me. It's a winner, guys. It's a winner. So like it. So next, guys, is a dress. And this dress looks kind of weird. Looks babyish. But I think it's really good like for going to the beach or something of the sort. So it just looks yellow like this. I know it looks filthy because it was in the mtumba. But I bet you that if I soak it in whatever soap I'll be soaking it in, I will have a good dress. So it just has peacocks. It looks like, um, is it crotchet? Not crotchet. This actually, this looks like embroidery. It is embroidery. Yeah. So it's embroidered and the material is actually like a natural material. It's like linen, but it's not linen. Probably it's cotton, but like a really tough cotton, but it's so nice. So I'm going to try on that for you. And I actually bought the hat just to match that dress. Just imagine. Just imagine. So I did buy that hat just to match the dress. So the dress just looks like this. Now, if remember the name of that designer dress that I thrifted that almost looked like this. It was a Lily Pulitzer. Yes, Lily Pulitzer dress. And the cape I actually had in mind doesn't fit my head plus the wig. But it's just a nice, I don't know, casual, pretty dress. Kind of biggish, but okay. So... I like it because the fabric is really good quality. It's not a flimsy fabric. And also the designs are intact. As you can see, the designs are really, really intact. Yeah, so it's just cute. I like it. Yeah, my head cannot fit in this hat as intended. So I have to go get another hat. You can never, ever, 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 ever have too many crop tops. Not just crop tops, but like spaghetti strap vests or whatever so i bought this green one and i like the green green is my favorite color for those of you who do not know i love green but this shade of green is like even my most favorite shade of green i don't know what europeans call it i don't know what they call it or the british because english is their mother tongue but english is not our mother tongue no 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 so um i think it's just a type of green so basically and this is also like sweater material so Nice so this crop top basically looks like this. There's nothing much to see. 
just a basic crop top and, and you guys see. can actually tell that it's a really really nice green and i like it i like the design here at the front it's just a crop top honestly and it's neat so nothing much to see the back looks like that it's just pretty like i like it i don't know whether the camera is cut putting it off as blue but it's actually green it's like a sage green i'd say so i did also get this top it's just a floral crop top i don't know why i got it but i guess the colors and the print are what attracted me to it looks very beachy like for going to the beach and stuff despite the fact i don't even live near a beach but hey dreams are valid so let's just get into like the legal talent as i was saying and it's just like it needs guts like it really really needs guts this is actually an extra small that's how i was telling you some companies they fit me some don't or some have just been expanded by the people who wore them so it's an it's really belly dancer like like belly dancer i used to be a belly dancer until i delivered <laughs> not as a profession but i could belly dance if you want to know something about me, I could move this belly. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, it's cute. It's just like, of course, I wouldn't wear it with this because this looks like a beach outfit. Probably I'll just wear it with some loose pants, like culottes or something. So it's just cute. The back looks like this. It has a zip in case you're wondering how I got inside it. It has a zip on this side because this material is cotton. It's not stretchy. So it just looks like this yeah ignore the mama belly but it's fine i'm trying to hide it yeah so it's okay there we have it this one i like it but as in where would i be going with this one apart from the beach and i'm not confident enough to wear this right now so it looks like this well it matches my nails it's so pretty yeah but that's just but definitely not the least i thrifted a dress not just any dress looks like a wedding dress or maybe a satin dress i don't know i guess somebody can do their wedding in it but not me but it just is so pretty because it has like this ties at the back and it has a low back as you can see and it's just a gown it's so pretty it's made of satin and it's super super long look at that it's not ending basically it's super long super fly and you're gonna see me try it on so let's just let me just try this on probably you've been seeing me in sat stuff so because i'm trying to change the format so that my viewers don't have to wait to the end just to see one item of clothing no so my viewers can see step by step each item of clothing so let's just try this clothes on i'm so sleepy guys sleepy I just have an amen for these nails first of all so here is the dress guys that's why i was actually telling you that it could even be somebody's wedding dress and i don't know or a prom dress or something of the sort or just a dinner dress who knows but it is so nice it is so flowy i like it and the back guys look at that back look at it just look at it take it in guys take it that back so you cannot basically wear a traditional bra with this kind of thing but it's just so elegant it's just so pretty it's just so fine and it's the last dress it's the last dress i'm exhausted guys i'm exhausted make sure you subscribe because i'm damn exhausted guys don't forget to subscribe i'm worn out i'm i'm, I'm collapsing guys, please don't forget to subscribe because i'm about to collapse like I have filmed until literally midnight. 